I want to start with a huge thank you. I spent yesterday binging the series. I was cackling like a, I mean, the people next door must have thought I was crazy just <laughs> from my from my laughing. Uh, I just, I, I want to thank you for making me laugh like a hysterical person. Honestly, Steve, we just, the, the whole goal of this was to not let people like yourselves down. So if we, if we did, if we did that, <laughs> that was our entire goal. I, I'm going to say you uh, mission mission accomplished. Um, I want to start I want to start this interview off by giving a huge thank you to Peacock for letting you guys make this series and for letting MacGruber live again. So I just want to get that out there and just say thank you to them. That's um, technically our job. To, to but I thank you, thank you for thanking. Them. I, I I'm, as a fan, I just want to thank them. You know. Um. So I want to start with the most important question I think, which is that uh, for people that don't realize, Christopher Nolan is a huge fan of MacGruber. And um, so for both of you, what is it like finding out that he's like a super fan and was quoting lines on like the set of the last Dark Knight movie? We we found that out from our friend who worked on, I think it was Jimmy Fallon, where Anne Hathaway revealed that and was like, oh, I always knew things were going well on Batman when Christopher Nolan would start quoting MacGruber. And we were like, what? So then I like I first inter- like interacted with him at a DGA dinner because my wife and I, like my wife is a much more talented director than I am. And we were at this features dinner and like and uh, and she was like, Chris Ronald's over there. You got to go talk to him. And so like I went up and I was like, hey, Chris, uh, you know, I'm you're my director of this movie, uh, McGregor. And he's like, oh, hey, man. And I was like, yeah, what do you think about this idea? We're going to make a sequel. And when it says directed by. Uh, I wanted to just say Christopher Nolan with an asterisk. And then at the end of the movie, there's another asterisk and it says it's not Christopher Nolan. And he's like, ah, I'll talk to my wife. <laughs> but we were relentless in pursuing him. Like he sent a super sweet note. He couldn't come to the table read. So I think, but we invited him to the table read. I honestly have been too up his butt about what I wanted to see if he could get his throat ripped out. Didn't have any time for that. We offered him any episode that he wanted to direct. <laughs> Like, I, I think he's gotten to a point where he's like, well, I, I'm not going to actually be a part of your world, <laughs> but I do appreciate it. Right. John, what's your reaction when he does all this? I, I mean, I, I still don't quite believe it. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. But I'll believe it when I see it. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Season two. Like, Chris, I mean, let's fucking rip some throats out. A hundred percent. Hopefully this interview will lead to that. Um, That's what we're going for. We're just trying to peer pressure him via the press. uh, I want to, something else I want to talk about for fans that are watching this. uh, This is definitely a hard R in terms of the the show. Did you get any pushback from Peacock at all at the throat rips or the level of violence? Nope. No. I mean, you're right. It's very violent. Yeah. Yeah. It, It doesn't shy away from anything, which of course I love, you know? Um, okay, so another thing, I Will is one of the writers, one of the he's the guy, right? Yet he is so effing fearless. Like, I don't think anyone else would write so many lines of, you know, McGruber is naked. You know, um, like it's every episode, he's just taking clothes off. What is it like working with Will when he's so committed to this role? I would say I'll answer I'll answer it like the I would say it would be impossible. It would be impossible to make this if Will wasn't so unbelievably sharp with, it's not just, it's like 150% with every, every single time he's on camera, but he like, in terms of a person knowing his lines and in, and this was a difficult shoot. We shot this in 50 days and, and it's a lot to do in that amount of time. And so there would be moments where we're shooting like an indie film where you get two takes and if he's not fucking nailing it, then it doesn't, the scene doesn't work. And so we have actors like, like Will, like Kristen, who are just like, if they are pushed and they only get two takes, they're going to bring it in a way that you're like, I, we wouldn't be able to do the series without, without such unbelievable professionals, which yeah. is, it wouldn't work. And I, and I would say the only time Will is fearless and the only time I've seen him waver a little tiny bit at all. And, and he, he earned it. He earned it was in, during the movie after we were while we were shooting the celery scene <laughs> probably toward the end of the celery scene will will's mom and her friend were there watching the filming and a number you know obviously there but a big film crew around at the after a few takes will was like okay, i think we i think we got enough i think we got enough of this <laughs> wait can i say one more thing because i've never seen this happen and this happened on the uh, filming the series and i haven't mentioned this i've never seen will break ever 
like like all of SNL. I've never seen him break. And this was the first time I've seen Will break. And and don't mention this when you said like of what it is, but in episode 107, there's a little, he does a little fart and he and he raises his butt and there's a like little breathless fart that happens. And that was that was the thing that broke Will. And I couldn't believe how stupid it was. I was like, that's the thing that you're gonna laugh at? Like, holy shit. Um, how did you guys come up with the eight episodes? Was it Peacock's number? Was it your number? Um, or did they sort of say like, here's a budget and whatever episodes you want to do, you can do with this amount of money. Well, John, talk about, talk about, uh, last man. Cause you guys, how many episodes were you guys doing in last man? We, you know, we started with, I believe 13, then we went up to 18 episodes, some, something in that range. Um, I, I think we, knowing how much work it was going to be, I think we were hovering in around the eight to 10 episode range. And then I, I think it just worked out that that made sense for, for Peacock. Um, last man, seeing these guys in last man, it's just, it's so brutal. You're always trying to catch up to yourself. And we had really, really wanted like for the amount of money we were given, I mean, like all respect to, to Peacock is, Oh my God, I can't believe that they allowed us to do this show in the slightest, but you know, like it was going to be a tight schedule always. And so we really needed it to be a tightly written script. It's basically a long movie broken up into eight parts. And so we really wanted like the story to be as tight as it could, because we were going to cross board it. Cause like basically me and John are on set every day. Some days, like he has five scenes. I have two, like then it flips the next day. Then he has like a four days where it's mostly him. And like, like, but we're, we're shooting it like a cross boarded movie. Cause it was the, the only way we could get so much is like to shoot out locations and blah, blah, blah. So we kind of had to be very, very precise um, with this. And we, and we love it feeling like it's more of a movie than it is a TV show. Oh, I mean, all eight episodes, it's interconnected a hundred percent. The, did you guys ever debate calling it something but MacGruber, like MacGruber the series or like something to distinguish the title? Uh, the sequel at one point was going to be called MacGruber Dick Infested Waters. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> does that answer your question? No, uh, no, not for me. I mean, there was a joke at one point where we were, we were at one point in the movie, we were going to uh, mention that his dad reveals there was a scene with his dad in the movie where he reveals that his name's actually Magruder and it was a mistake on his birth certificate. And so at the end of the movie, it was going to say Magruder. <laughs> um, so there was that joke that didn't make it in. And at this point, I think we probably want to bail on that kind of hijinks. Uh, with Peacock, how much did they ask you when you pitched them on doing the, the series? How much did they say, do you guys have like a three-year plan if, you, if this is successful? Do you know what I mean? Or was it sort of like, yeah, just do these episodes and let's see what happens. I think it was more of that. Yeah. <laughs> but now tell them how many, tell them how many episodes. We've they made. actually want seven seasons. They seven. just approved seven seasons. They <laughs> love it. And they're going to up the budget. They said with every season, we get an extra $10 million because they just yeah. were like more, more. Yeah. And then, and then they, and, and then in the meeting, they did a bunch of blow right after that. They were like, <laughs> fuck, let's just do it, fucking do it. <laughs> Um, I'm almost out of time, but I, I have to ask you guys, I think that the beginning of episode one with Maya's song and, and, and sort of catching everyone up, if you, you know, if you haven't, if you haven't seen the movie in a while or you forget, uh, is so good. Can you sort of talk about uh, uh, figuring out how to sort of catch everyone up and getting Maya to do that? That was, that was a well, Will Forte uh, promoing that yeah. idea. I think that comes from SNL, honestly, that, that kind of, that kind of thinking where you're like, how do you get people in the right frame of mind to, you know, it's like, it is, it is a little scary. It's just like, you're just dropping people into this world of like, you know, this character, we all know and love this character. You're like, well, some people might not, <laughs> and they might not know this. So like, but I, I do think that like, once you get that little preamble, the rest of the show is very easy to, to watch and follow for, even if you haven't seen the movie. Oh, a hundred percent. I already got a wrap. I'm just going to say, seriously, guys, uh, great job. And again, thank you for making me laugh so fucking hard last night. I really appreciate oh, and, it. And by the way, we got to do that that screening of oh, fucking the sir, movie. I, yeah, for people that don't realize we're watching this, we had sold out the Arclight Hollywood for a thousand people and we were going to do MacGruber and we had a very cool night planned and then COVID said, fuck you. Oh my God. Collider has been the shit always. And thank you so much for yeah, continuing to support, man. Oh, please. Um, 
Uh, seriously, I hope it's a huge hit. And anything I can do to help, I definitely will. You guys You're have a fantastic day. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Later.